chair isn't lowered. What happens is that, that, that I ask them, because you get pictures of the electric chairs, and they're made, you know, to last forever. They'll last forever because they're made out of oak, most of them, and Old Sparky, which is the one they use in Florida. And old Sparky, interesting, a little fun with things. And uh, um, I looked at them and I thought that what I would have is to take away all the wiring and just have the, the hard wood of the thing itself. And in, in, uh, in Alabama, they made a wonderful chair. Woo, God. And what happens is that in the novel, as you read it, and in, in the play, they don't usually, they've never executed a man in this building. It's a courthouse. It's not a prison, even. There's a, there's a jail cell part of it, but it's not a real prison. But according to the laws of the time, the prisoner has to be executed in the place where he was tried. So they truck in a motor and hook it up to the chair, and the executioner is some electrician, and all sorts of horrible things happen. So we got this wonderful sound effect that makes a tremendous, and, and the, the chair comes on in darkness, and suddenly when the sound effect goes boom, you hit the chair with a light from above, and it's very powerful, very powerful. When, when the person to be executed is clearly innocent, clearly innocent, no question about that, and, the, and, and has come, has become kind of a hero who even shames the man who has been trying to get him to, it's a, it's a magnificent novel, a magnificent conception of a story, and it was my honor and, and privilege to be able to dramatize it.